what's going on everybody welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the x12 it is by dongming tuo rc i'll just call it drc it is a foldable arm wi-fi fpv altitude hold rc quadcopter ready to fly with a two megapixel wide angle lens camera so let's open up the box and check it out All right, everything is out of the box and laid out on the table. So let's check out what we get in the box first. We get a bag of goodies. We got some prop guards here. And I do recommend you put the prop guards on. If you are a beginner, you can help protect the props and in turn help protect the motors. There's some extra props here. Looks like a full set of extra props. And there are small little pieces of something in here as well as a screwdriver. Let me go ahead and take out what those small little pieces are and check it out. And we also get some screws in here as well. So be careful with those little screws. They're not in a separate bag. I'm pretty sure they are for the prop guards. But here's one of the small little pieces that were in the bag. There's four of these. And I do believe what it is is it is some landing legs for each of the motor pods. So... You push it in like right here and it provides a landing leg on each of the motor pods kind of like what this picture is showing like just like that all right so but i'm not going to put that on i think the quadcopter already has some landing legs built in so we'll come back to the quadcopter in a little bit and that is what you get in this little bag of goodies and we also get the screwdriver somehow took the screwdriver out and here's the charge cable usb to a little barrel style connector and here is the battery proprietary battery and there is the port to connect this barrel style connector and power source the usb to charge up the battery and the battery itself is a 3.7 volt i can't see any writing on there so i'm telling you what i am reading from the product page it is a 3.7 volt 1000 milliamp battery it's supposed to be good for about 10 to 13 minutes of flight so that is pretty good all right so and you also get the instruction booklet yeah in all kinds of different languages and drone wi-fi scout it says okay so maybe it is named that as well and we also get an addendum to the instruction manual with the wi-fi fpv app that you can download in the app store it is called the ht Ooh, ufo app that's what it looks like i have that app already installed on my phone so we're gonna go ahead and use that and there are the qr codes to download the app it is called htufo all right there we go so let's go ahead and take a look at the quadcopter and the remote control a little closer all right guys so here is the quadcopter foldable design once again and it is looking kind of like the mavic air clone here kind of anyways uh here are a couple of led lights looking like eyes up in the front and there is the camera the wi-fi fpv camera and it is tilt adjustable but i feel a slight resistance as i'm tilting it up and down there's kind of like a soft mount on the camera tilt angle so when you push it up it kind of kind of bounces back a little bit so it's kind of soft mounted hopefully it takes good jello free videos and here is the wi-fi antenna on the bottom and here is the whole wi-fi fpv module and there is a little slot on the bottom here uh, looks like it's supposed to be for a micro sd card but it is not a dvr on this one here and there's a little uh, notch or a little protrusion looking like it could have been for a optical sensor camera perhaps maybe on a different model anyways uh we see that there is a on and off button right on the top and even though it is it is a foldable design the props are not foldable it looks like it is foldable but it is not so let's go ahead and spring out the arms here the front arms fold out just normally just fold it out there we go but the rear arms have to go below and it clicks out there's four clicks to click it out all the way out two three four 
and now we have a significant size quadcopter just like all of the rest of the foldable type of quadcopters so that is just about it on the quadcopter itself and there's also a little led light fixture in the back as well right on top of the battery compartment so here is the battery so you just slide it in and it only goes in one direction just like the contour of the quadcopter so just push it in all the way clicks into place and then now you can turn it on by depressing the on and off button there so let's put the quadcopter down and it doesn't look like i need to put the landing legs or the little pieces of that landing leg on the motor pod looks like it's going to land itself pretty good with those built-in landing legs on the body all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the remote control and it is another familiar type of remote control i've done a bunch of reviews that utilize the same type of remote control and here is the hidden phone clip on the bottom just pull it out and let's see if it'll take my iphone 6 plus with the case and oh yeah it'll take the iphone 6 plus with the case so that is nice we take that off and it provides a nice little handle too when once you put the phone on there so these antennas are just fake antennas but looks nice when you flip it out there's the power on and off button there that's the throttle this is the pitch and the roll it is the mode 2 and there's some buttons on the top so this button here is the headless mode button if you press it short press it and if you long press it it is the one key to return this will be the photo and video button but it will not function on this quadcopter because it does not have a dvr so a single press will take a photo if it did have a dvr and a long press will take a video and on the right side this this button in the back here is the speed button and i do believe it has three speeds this button up here on the front it is for flips just press this button and do the direction of the flips that you want we got some trim buttons here to the right to the left forward and backwards and some little light fixture i believe it just turns on the second one turns on to indicate the power is on and it is a red indicating led light here's a one key to take off and one key to land so that is nice and bolt sticks to the bottom and in will arm and disarm the motors and bolt sticks to the bottom and out will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter all right so this has a control distance of about 100 to 150 meters that's what it says on the product page all right so let's go ahead and uh, do a little demo flight with the X12 by DRC. All right, we are just about ready to go with the X12. We got everything connected. The transmitter is turned on. As you can see, there's a red LED light on that second little hole there. I have the Wi-Fi FPV app turned on and I do have connection. And we do have pretty good FPV and the camera seems to be pretty decent. Looks like a 720 p fpv camera so let's go ahead and let me start my screen record on my phone so i can show you what the app looks like and there we go all right so that is how it looks like if i turn on the displays that's what it looks like and altitude hold and it gives you the button for to one key to take off one key to land emergency stop and i see a microphone icon as well and that is the phone app and i'm just going to leave it just the way it is right now <clears throat> because i'm going to fly it with the hard remote so both sticks to the bottom and out will calibrate the gyros of the quadcopter so let's see there you go led light flashed and it has stopped and both sticks to the bottom and in will arm the motors and arm disarm the motors as well all right so let's go ahead and take some photos first let's go ahead and place it horizon level here and oh yeah i got the quadcopter nice and straight and we got nice horizon 50 50 all right so let's go ahead and take a photo there we go taking a photo taking another photo taking another photo by the way the app that i thought i have downloaded and it was compatible it was not and i was referring to the hts ufo app but this one here is just called the ht ufo app looks very similar 
but it will not work with the HTS UFO app. So I have to re-download the app or download this brand new app. All right, so taking some photos there. And let's go ahead and hit that video icon. And we are recording video as well. Let me make sure I got screen record on. All right, so let's go for a little demo flight with the X12. Let's hit that one key to take off. Oh yeah, takes off automatically. And there is a LED light in the back and it is red. And I am able to see it when the quadcopter is at a angle where I can see the LED light and let me turn it around and I can see the LED lights in the front as well there's a little breeze kicking in so there you go and the motors are embedded inside of the arms and are lying laterally with the arms so it's kind of like the JJRC Elfie type foldable quadcopter here Okay, that is speed number one, I am assuming. Okay, not bad. Let me go to speed number two, a couple of beeps. And there's speed number two. Let me see if I can see if there's any lag right off the bat. We got altitude hold. So there I am coming towards me. And hey, that is not bad. You can FPV with this thing right off the bat. Uh oh, there's a little bit of disconnect. There you go bringing it back and probably the car was in the way here so signal got lost but this is not bad and there you go all right speed number three do a little flip oops it will now do a forward flip guys oh and there's a little bug trying to get at my quadcopter okay it will do a left flip it will do a right flip but it will not do a forward flip and a re rear flip, back flip. Okay, so just left and right flips can be had with this quadcopter. All right, so let me go ahead and hit that headless mode here. And yep, headless mode is working. No annoying beeps on the transmitter, so that is good. <laughs> All right, so going forward, coming back in a full yaw spin. So headless mode is working just perfectly as I have calibrated the quadcopter. So that is nice. Let me hit that button again. Out of the headless mode now. Yeah, we are out. And long pressing the same button is the one key to return. So let's go ahead and... There you go. It is returning to the southbound heading. And redirecting it gets you out of the one key return. And see if the button will get you out as well. Long pressing it. And long pressing the button again will get you out of the one key to return. So that is awesome. Nice. Everything is working just fine. Let's see. Let's test out the one key to land here. One key to land. And directing its path to land on the landing pad. And there you go. Touchdown. And the motor shut off. So everything works. Let's go ahead and arm the motors manually. There we go. And take off manually. Awesome. Everything works perfect. And it is very controllable as well. Even with the Wi-Fi phone app turned on, sharing that 2.4 gigahertz frequency, I don't see any lag on my remote control. So this is a pretty good one. And it's got a pretty decent camera as well. So let's go and check out the sights. I went down to speed number one. So hopefully we'll take some good videos. There's a little turbulence. Let me do a little pan. Decent quality videos, guys. That is not bad. Okay, making a 360. And there I am. Okay, coming towards myself. Passing over me, so it should be right there. Nice. 
All right, so pretty decent flyer. So let's go ahead and bring it in and see what happens when I turn the remote control off, simulating signal loss. It says 100 to 150 meters. So I'm not sure about that, but we'll demonstrate what it does if it does disconnect. Okay, turned off the remote. I have no input controls. It is slowly descending by itself. That is very nice behavior nowadays with all of the quadcopters. There you go. It came to a nice little soft landing and the motors have shut off. So let me go ahead and turn the remote control back on and rebind and let's see if it takes off here. There you go. We are rebound and we have regained connection. Speed number one, speed number two. All right. So very, very nice so far. The behavior on this quadcopter is just awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing manually. Let me go ahead and land it on the landing pad. Oops, oops, oops. There we go, a little hesitation after it almost touched the ground. All right, so there you go, guys, with the hard remote. All right, I was able to turn the quadcopter off and restart the whole process, and now it has reconnected and the lights on the quadcopter is solid. We have connection. And let me go ahead and turn on the virtual sticks or the altitude hold. I already had the virtual sticks turned on. Now I have one key to take off, one key to land, and emergency stop. Let's go ahead and start the video as well. And I do have my screen record turned on. So let's go for a little demo flight with the X12 with the Wi-Fi phone app. Let's check out what speed we are on. And there is the speed button. Let me go to medium and let me go to high speed. And looks like there is also a gyro mode as well. All right, so we're gonna check that out. So first, let's go ahead and check it out with the virtual sticks. One key to take off and let's see if it takes off. Oh yeah, not bad. We got altitude hold on this thing. And even though we are in speed number three or 100%, and that is the full pitch forward. And as I let go, it is slowly coming down. No, hopefully not. All right, so the wind is pushing it back a little bit. So there you go, guys. Let's see if I can fly it with the virtual sticks here. Oh yeah, you can control this quadcopter, but it doesn't have a very good speed with the Wi-Fi phone app. It did a lot better with the hard remote. And there's the speed with the wind so the wind is playing a little factor here so it should perform a little bit better if it didn't have any wind All right so that is the virtual sticks and I think I see that the lights are starting to blink so let's go to gyro mode and demonstrate the gyro mode going forward it looks like it's got better pitch with the gyro mode doesn't it all right so there's a little twitch right there I'm not sure what that was so Taking a look at the lights here, I can see that the lights are still solid in the back. All right, so we are not low on battery. So there you go, guys, the gyro mode, and it is functioning very well. There's not much lag, but there's a little twitch here and there when I change directions. Maybe that has something to do with the wind too. There you go, coming back towards me, and the response is very quick. Yeah, so very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get out of the gyro mode and regain control with the virtual sticks. Uh oh, it does not want to respond. Okay, there we go. We are good to go once again. It took a little while for it to respond to the virtual sticks. Let me go ahead and bring it in for a landing here. Because I want to see what the commands are for. Man, I just missed the landing pad here. So let's go ahead and hit that microphone button. Okay.
Okay, I've seen the commands that I need to command. So it can take off, it can land, turn left, turn right, go forward and backwards. So let's go and check it out. Take off. Holy crap. Go forward. Let me go up in altitude a little bit. Turn right, right, forward, forward. Go forward, forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward, turn right, turn right. It does work, but it doesn't go for a long time. So I'm saying other words and it is responding. Oh, it is coming down for a landing, guys. So I think maybe the battery is kind of depleting. I see that the lights are still solid. All right, so let's go ahead and take it back to the table. Yeah, the lights are still solid, so it is still good. Okay, let's try that one more time. Take off. Land. Okay, I want to check out see, to see whether or not it landed by itself as well with the voice command. And it does. So some of the functions do work. It is not the very best, but the microphone and the voice command does work. Very nice. Let's see. Let me hit that other button. And there should be a... There you go. Flight planner. So let's go and check out the quadcopter with the flight planner. So let's go and take off. One key to take off. Join a line forward. Let me go up in altitude. Oh man, it travels for a while with a strike stroke of the pen, so to speak. So there you go. Holy crap, it's going to come at me, isn't it? Yeah. All right. So let me go down in speed to speed number one. And the distance that it travels is a little less and it is a little docile so you are able to control it with the flight planner with lower speed let me go up in speed here to medium speed oops it's going the wrong way there you go go forward there you go flight planner works as well so let me get out of that flight planner and take control with the virtual sticks there we go taking back control with the virtual sticks and I was able to demonstrate just about everything there is to demonstrate with this quadcopter with just one charge of the battery so it does have a pretty decent amount of flight time with this one battery so that is just awesome so let's go ahead and bring it in for a landing here and let me see if I can land it on the landing pad now okay come on there we go there we go there we go come on land there we go made it to the landing pad all right let me go ahead and turn off the recording and let me go ahead and turn off the screen recording as well nice all right there we go what i'm going to do now is i'm going to turn off the altitude hold i'm going to turn off the virtual sticks i want to turn on the remote control and see if I can bind it back to the remote control. And let me just put my phone on the clip here and see if I can fly some more with the hard remote. Nice. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and record. All right, so we still got battery power and I'm still able to fly with a single charge. Speed number two, that's pretty good. Nope, still kind of slow. Speed number three. All right, let's run out the battery with the hard remote. I still see that the LED lights in the front looking like eyes is still solid and it is not blinking. Not bad.
do a little speed pass. Yeah. It's a pretty decent flyer, guys. Responding to my controls very nicely. And the lights in the front is still solid. So that is just awesome, man. Long flight time. Okay. Let me see if I can FPV a little bit more. Okay, there I am. Going over me. Passing by me. Going away from me. To the right side of the field. Turning around. And got myself on my sights and passing right over me again. And check it out. It is just doing fantastic. Okay, bringing it down a little bit. Let me see if the lights are blinking. Yes, I see that the LED lights in the front looking like eyes are blinking. So let's bring it in for a landing. So far, everything has worked and responded beautifully. So let's go ahead and bring it in. One key to land. And I was even able to do FPV in speed number three. So just awesome. Let's see if I can land it this time. Sort of in the middle. All right, there you go, guys. The flight demo of the X-12 by DRC. All right, so just got done checking out the X-12 by DRC, the foldable RC quadcopter with the wide angle lens camera. And it did just fantastic. I was able to fly it with the hard remote while I had the Wi-Fi phone app turned on as well. So there was no delay or latency whatsoever utilizing the hard remote with that 2.4 gigahertz frequency conflicting with each other. No conflict whatsoever with this quadcopter and i was able to fly it also with the wi-fi phone app the virtual sticks work great the gyro mode as well as voice control and the flight planner all work pretty decent so just a fantastic of a flyer and i was able to demonstrate everything with just a single charge so the flight time on this quadcopter is also very very nice all right so there you go guys my review and test flight of the x12 by drc thank you so much for tuning in and watching have a great day and we'll see you again next time